Okay, well, um, let's get going on our next one. Now, when you've got, and I'm just going to use this as an example. I know your house is going to look different or whichever, but that's all fine. But let's go ahead and start. We're going to actually do the hatch, which is going to add the texture. So when you get this done and you have everything all set, everything looks good, and I've signed off on your papers that your elevations are perfect and your roofs, you need to have all those signatures done. Do not do that until then. What I'd like you to do is make sure all your layers on and um, you would have numbers and things here. Turn all your layers on first and I need you to move these away from each other such as and remember this is just for the demo. I'm moving them over here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put approximately a 10 foot line here and the reason I'm doing this is so I've got some spacing. If it's 11 I don't really care as long as you've got some space. So there's my front view. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move and rotate. You may have to move yours away before you rotate it, whichever. And um, I'm going to just go ahead and place it next to it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm lining up all my houses step by step next to each other. Okay, that doesn't take that long. Now, you're going to do this and you're going to get all of these over there. And I hope you understand. I guess I should do it just to make sure you fully see what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and get this. I'm going to put it in the area. Oops, that would be smart if I took the right spot. Okay. So, one more to move it is it's going to be here. And let's get this guy over here. Now, the reason I'm doing this, and I've moved it pretty far away, is so that we can have these by themselves. All right. The one thing I want to do on this is I'm going to go ahead and freeze off these red lines first. And you know what? Before I freeze these off, let's go ahead and make a new layer. Okay. Let's create a new layer, and this one is going to be called just Hatch. Okay, it's going to be Scion, or Cyan, the light blue. It's continuous, and let's make that point 3. And it's going to be printable. Okay, so that's all good. Now, I'm going to put myself in that Hatch layer, and I'm going to clean up one little thing first. See, I've got the red lines away from here. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. I just want you to be able to see the whole thing, how it's going to work. And, of course, my window should be done and things, but this is just for the demonstration. So, please, you can't do this unless I have all your things checked and turned in. So, now, this is where you can go in there, and if you drew a line from the top of this, it should touch the top of this. This is how you can really double-check to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Now, this is probably the best fun is coming up with your hatch. So let me show you how that works. Hatch. This is going to add the texture. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to pick one and we're just going to start. Let's do this. Let's try. Let's talk about the roof. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're in the hatch layer. We're coming over to hatch. We're going to click this. Now you have different kinds of roofs on here. Um, they have this one here that's called, let's find it. It's AR roof. Let me find that. Okay, here's AR roof right here if you'd like to use this one. Now, this is the deal. When you pick your area, and I want to have this area here, is my roof. Honestly, that's crazy tight. You're not going to even see it. So let's change the scale. Let's bring the scale up to 10 for right now. That's not bad at all. So this gives you the idea of where the, shingle, the shingles are running. So that could be your roof, as easy as that, if you'd like that. Now, Please don't go and pick all of these at one time. You want to pick them separate. You want to have this roof separate from this roof. Because if you put them all together and they are associated, if you move this, the roof's not going to move because of this. So do each one separate. Okay? Now, the next thing. If this is the roof you choose, please stick with that roof. Don't go changing to another style on this roof. But let's see some other kinds of roofs. So this is that AR roof. Let's go into here now. Mind you, I've already changed it to the 10, so you might want to go back to the 0. 
and see what this looks like. Okay. Oops. And it's going to let me do that. Oops. Let's go to one. That'd even be better. Okay. See this shake, shake shingles? Shake shingles are those wooden shingles that you find up north in New England area. Now let's take a look at this. This one's at a pretty decent scale if you look at it. That's not too bad at all. So there's your, you know, your shake shingles, if that's what you want on your roof. Um, 